Wearing the clothes, what I would hope is for women to feel like, wow, like I can like command the room. I feel great, I feel confident. And they can embrace and celebrate what makes them different and have them become sources of joy. Before becoming a fashion designer, Kim Shuey herself found joy in what she wore. Tell me when you first fell in love with fashion. I always was just so drawn to clothes and it had a really special meaning for me. I grew up in Italy. I definitely felt like I was an outlier of some sorts because I didn't feel like I was Chinese enough. I didn't feel like I was American enough and I didn't feel Italian enough. So clothes were this way for me to connect with the people around me and it, they were conversation starters. With no connections to the fashion industry, Kim didn't think it would be a viable career. So instead, she started down a more traditional path, studying economics. But that passion for fashion never faded. So she went to design school to pursue her dream. When I first moved to New York, I didn't, I didn't know anyone in the industry. So how you know? do you do it? It was step by step like slowly over time. The number of emails that I sent out, the number of you know people I tried to get in touch with to ask them what they thought or if they could give me any advice. And most of those emails were no, but that didn't stop me from like just being relentless. Eventually, Kim won a design competition. The prize, her first runway show in 2016, where Kylie Jenner sat in the front row wearing one of Kim's pieces. She went on to dress stars from Cardi B to Hailey Bieber and Taraji P. Henson. Halsey, ladies and gentlemen! Sometimes I'm like, wow, like these are all people that I love so much and they like the clothes. Who are some of your pinch me, wow, they like what I designed? The biggest pinch me's are always when girls tag me on social media. You know, I'm always like, wow, you wore that for your birthday. The best actually is in person. I saw this girl walk out of the coffee shop. She was wearing my jeans and I was like, Wow, that's so incredible. That's I wanted cool. to chase after her to be like, oh my God. <laughs> she also keeps those everyday fashionistas in mind for her runway shows. This is amazing. I always Thank feel like you. I can never really wear high fashion because I'm like 4'11 and not a model. Oh my God. We've had models that are 4'11. You have petite girls? Petite girls. I mean, I think it's important. I want to see like what that might look like on me. Yeah. So we have all different sizes and shapes. Kim's reach has led her to collaborations and being named as one of Forbes 30 Under 30 in art and style. I almost feel like your background has served you in so many ways. I mean, I think yeah. so. I think it has all served me in some way and what you might think is your weakness can sometimes be your strength. I thought, oh, I didn't go to a four year full-time design school. Like I don't have enough skills, but I think that then the perspective is different. You have a different way that might be more out of the box. What would you say to someone who might not feel like they belong? since you talked about your childhood. Embrace those differences, celebrate them, mm. because those things are what make you special. And in the long run, all that is what makes you unique and special. I like your nose. I'm gonna have this like So we talked about, you know, being in Italy and you had this knack for fashion. What would that little girl think of this woman she meets now? I think she wouldn't be able to believe the things that would happen so far. Mm. I just love her. Kim, well, I her think stuff you're fantastic. Is, it's, it's definitely a style, but I love it's it. It's so good. Kim just wrapped up her most recent fashion show with, listen to this, Vogue, saying that Kim Shuey will become and can become a household fashion name. Wow. So wow. Cool. High praise. Really Kim cool says stuff. for her next move, she's eyeing accessories. Yeah. She, she wants to continue to grow. I saw a couple of dresses that I'm going to try to wear. Oh. So you'll see something. Okay. Um, I just think she's super talented. I love the segment that we yeah. do. Yeah. Because then the next thing you know, we have these folks who are household names. And we talked about them here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the third hour. I love that her background's in economics. Oh, you know? exactly. That's right. That's... Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for that. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.